dear Blizzard. So I wanted to start off by saying, I think the development team has done a pretty great job with the cast of animal heroes in Overwatch. They are diverse, interesting, and compelling. From Winston to Winston to Winston, the animal cast reflects a large spectrum of personalities and player fantasies. With that being said, let's talk about Winston. From a marketing standpoint, he's the star of the show. He's a great hero. When we look at the way he's portrayed in promotional media, law, and art in game, we know a few things about him. He's big. He's smart. He's grey, bluish. He's a good scientist. His body seems to be comprised of about 95% bananas. Almost all of his art reflects this. He's got cool skins. He's got fun poses. He's got amazing victory animations. All of this art reinforces the great character that you've built around Winston. Then, out of seemingly nowhere, we have this pose. What? What about this pose has anything to do with the character you're building in Winston? It's not fun, it's not silly, it has nothing to do with being a big elite tank. It just reduces Winston to another bland animal sex symbol. Look at him, he's presenting himself, thrusting his unrealistically huge pectorals at the camera, flexing his gigantic, rippling, sensual biceps with no regard to who might be watching. His lips might say no, but his glowing yellow lightning eyes say yes, yes, yes! We aren't looking at a bastion pose here. This isn't a character who's in part defined by flaunting its sexuality. This pose says to the player base, Oh, we've got all these cool diverse characters, but at any moment we're willing to reduce them to sex symbols to help boost our investment game. Getting art into a AAA game isn't a small task. I should know, I've developed literally no video games. It has to go through an implementer, yeah that's a real word, a team lead, an art director, and a creative director. This is a team effort, and I believe the team is responsible for upholding the great example Overwatch can set to the rest of the industry for creating strong animal characters. I have a young German Shepherd that every day when I wake up wants to watch the recall trailer again. It knows who Winston is, and as it grows up, it can grow up alongside these characters. Yes, I am aware that the game is T-rated, but it's okay because I counted it in dog years, so I'm a responsible parent. What I'm asking is that you continue to add to the Overwatch cast and investment elements... What? You double down on your commitment to create strong animal characters. You've been doing a good job so far, but shipping with a Winston pose like this undermines so much of the good you've already done. Now my German Shepherd is irrevocably tainted. You know what's gonna have to happen, don't you? This is your fault. You did this.